From Borsio, topvelocity.net, going to do a pitch now here, Hayden. Going to pair him up with Eric Orsi. Coming out of leg lift here. Okay. You can see Eric a little bit more aggressive out of leg lift to where just before leg drive, let's see, about right here, I'd say Eric's got a little bit more momentum, let's say farther down the mound. So if we look at that force vector angle, that's the angle that shin, when that those forces are created, we get an idea where those forces are going. Um, it's hard to see. Let's we have to bring this up because it kind of cuts it off. Let's see. So we're seeing like 61. So yeah, like <clears throat> definitely a few more degrees, more linear from Eric. You just can see coming out of leg lift, more aggressive getting into that loaded position. You can see Hayden's, I would say, less aggressive there, but more aggressive to counter rotate. So, you know, counter rotation's good, but I like to have a better balance of momentum and the counter rotation. You can see with Hayden here, a lot of counter rotation, not as much momentum. Lift leg even reaching here. Like you see his lift leg really reaching out. Eric, as he counter rotates, but takes but a bigger uh, um, emphasis on momentum. So when we get to this point and they go into their leg drives, okay, you know, Eric is, uh, you know, tends to be, wants to be very rotational, but he works very hard to get more power in the front foot so he's not just too rotational. So you can see at front foot, Eric is off the rubber. You know, he's, he's starting to get on his toes. He's, his hips are open. You know, really good of getting triple extended, getting off the rubber. You can see with Hayden, foot still in the rubber, foot still sideways, hips are going to be late. Okay? Even though he's doing a good job of staying closed, um, he's still late on the drive here. Now, look at this. Because, think about it, he's more counter-rotated, less emphasis on momentum, gets the front foot strike, has the latest trunk well, but notice how he's really squeezing inside 90 with his throwing arm. That's because he's so rotational that he has to do that to fight centrifugal force when he does rotate so his arm doesn't want to fly out. So you can see more, you know, relaxed here with the arm, arms more close to 90 flexion as it cocks. And notice because of this, less of a pull, that when his arm lays back here and you watch Hayden arm lay back, like, or getting to that same point, he's... You can see he's still so far 90 or inside 90 that the arm looks like it still hasn't come out to move linear, meaning Eric's looks in a position where it's it's ready to start internally rotating. You can see Hayden's still not there, and then he's adducting. It almost looks like he's a, definitely adducting earlier, or if it's not adducting earlier, it's just the issue with the back hip being late. So you see his back hip is still coming around right here. So as his arms adducting or pulling forward, his hip is still coming around. Look at Orzi. His hips are through here, and then his arms are around, okay? So it's just, it's more than likely because he's, Hayden is so flexed and so tight with his upper body to fight rotation that, and also he's late with his lower body, you can see almost the hips and shoulders finishing together here as he adducts. And then the issue of also being late from leg drive is the front leg is bent, or it's really, oh, pretty much 90. There's, he's not in a, in a position as he opens like Orzi here, specifically in the same position, where he's starting to even move into extension with the front leg. This is a 90 front leg. I know flat ground work makes this even harder, but that just shows he's got to do a better job of that drive getting extended getting the hips through that would have pushed the hips ahead a little bit more and gotten the leg in a little bit more extended position here like orzy okay and then if you go to release and if we look at finish if we take him to release and we take hayden to release okay now you're going to see that bent front leg i know orzy might be just a little bit more forward let's see Yeah, pretty, pretty much the same. So similar upper body, but definitely more extension, more abduction in the hip. The hip's more up now. The hip's more behind the front leg, more flexion.
flex to 90. So it really is, at the end of the day, it's just a momentum issue. If we go back, we can see, like we said, Eric had a bigger emphasis on momentum at a leg lift, sitting really hard. Hayden had a bigger emphasis on counter-rotating. So rotation became more dominant with Hayden, linear and you know power, plus Eric was able to triple extend. So linear energy became more dominant, and that's the key. You, you're not going to be a high-velocity guy being more dominant in rotation unless you're a really just big guy. So really trying to focus on getting more linear, getting more linear out of leg lift, getting more load and more power through leg drive. Uh, Hayden, you really need to focus on that and not worry about not counter-rotating. It's just trying to get more emphasis on the linear power into that counter-rotation, and we should see, we should see progress.